Good morning and thank you all for joining us at PAC Expo Connects. I'm Megan Fletcher, the Market Development Manager at AUSID, and before we get started, I'd like to give a brief overview of AUSID for those of you who may not be familiar with who we are. AUSID is a product brand of Promoc, and we are part of the Flexible and Trays business line. AUSID started in the 1970s repairing overwrap machines and eventually evolved into a leading tray overwrap manufacturer by the 1990s. Our 500E in-seal overwrap machine gained much popularity within the poultry industry as this format now offered retailers a leak-resistant package. We later began to design and engineer weight price labeling equipment as well as custom thermoforming machines primarily used in the medical industry. While this provided a great range of equipment solutions for many years, we realized that trends in packaging were continuing to change and that we needed to provide additional solutions for our customers and retailers. Many retailers began to push their sustainability goals and initiatives on suppliers for more eco-friendly or green style packaging. This led us to partner with Repack, a leading manufacturer of food packaging equipment from Italy. Repack has allowed us to expand our equipment solutions to include tray sealers, standard thermoformers, vacuum chamber machines, as well as flow wrapping equipment. Today, AUSID is your single source supplier of food and medical device packaging, as well as whey price labeling machines and case scales. We are located in North Carolina and we provide all parts, installation, training, and service to our customers. If you have any questions following the demo, please be sure to reach out to us on our Osage showroom at the PAC Expo Connects website. Thank you and we hope you enjoy the demo. Good morning, my name is Chad Deaton. I'm the product line manager here at Osage for our thermoforming and tray sealing product lines. Today we're gonna to go over one of our standard E40 thermoforming machines. The E40 is a standard machine. Basically, it comes in 320, a 360, and a 420 web width with a cutoff of a 200 to 240, 270, and 300 millimeters. That keeps us into the standard thing to keep the cost low. A very intuitive HMI. One of the things I love about this HMI is it's pretty much icon based. You can look at the pictures. You got a picture of a home. It's going to send the machine home. It has multiple language. We can go 20 plus languages onto the HMI, so it's even good all around the world. The control system is a standard control system off the shelf. The Siemens PLC is what's running the whole thing. But as you'll see, you have Mitsubishi VFD drives. Very simple. It is capable of flexible, semi-rigid, and rigid films. What we're showing right here is a 22 mil film. We're going to do a nice form onto this to show you some nice trays. We have an electric brake over here. Very nice. Very simple to load it into the uh, K chain to pull the chain or pull the material straight through the machine. The forming section on, on this particular machine is a heat and form in place. What that means is it's actually bringing the film up to the heat. Once it reaches the temperature, the desired temperature, then we'll use air and or vacuum to push it down into the forms. The presses are a uh, four post design. It has two arms on each side to keep it nice and stable, nice and smooth acting to go up and down. The motors are on electric, not pneumatic, with an encoder feedback, knowing the positions and everything. It's a more efficient way of running the machine. Tool changes are simple. Literally, we use this little magnetic tool. We can pull the uh, dies out and change the depths of them very easily. If you'll see over here, here are your bunch of uh, spacers to be able to change the depth of the package. You can run a variety of things onto the machine. The loading zones are a standard loading zone depending on the index that you are looking for, but it's usually up to four uh, free positions to be able to load your product into. I'm going to show you an example of, a, of multiple different things that we're running through here. Here are your chicken wings. Everyone loves a good chicken wing. We have some chicken thighs as well. 
And again, you can change the depth of these trays. We have obviously set them up for the depth that looks really nice for the particular product we're running through. But as we were showing you earlier in the depth changes, it is nothing to change the depth of these types of things. This particular machine, we got it set up as a VSP, so we're gonna see how all that particularly runs through this machine. It goes around the drumsticks, the wings, the thighs. It has multiple ways of doing things. Here you'll see the ceiling station. The ceiling station is very similar onto any thermoform machine. We heat the two products together and then we put a perimeter seal around each individual pocket so that you're able to peel it out of there. And also inside that is where the magic happens of the VSP. The VSP, what it does is when that particular seal bar comes down, it pulls up onto it, gets it nice and hot, and then allows it to uh, form all the way around the product. So there you go, we can run Flex Flex, we can do a modified atmosphere, we can do a vacuum skim pack. We can also do a pro skin application if need be. If you have any questions about any of that, hit me up after the video. The same as the ceiling press is a four press design with the two arms on each side, encoder feedback. Just so everybody can see where the encoder actually is. There's your encoder feedback. It's onto a, a, a VFD, same thing in forming. Crosscut knives are literally just that. They're crossing, a, cutting across the product itself. So across machine direction. Uh, these particular knives are used for the semi-rigid, so they'll have what they call a little bit of a dog bone, so rounded quarter onto that. Very easy to change the blades. You literally loosen this bolt and this bolt. If the blade comes out the bottom, you put the new blade in and you tighten those two bolts right back. Very simple, very easy changeover. Score cut knives, or I like to call them, look like pizza cutters. Literally, they are just spinning and bringing our scrap out of the machine. This particular machine is set up with a rewind system for the scrap. It's a, also a motor control that constantly keeps tension onto that to keep them away from the chain. We also have, if you're doing a flexible, a lot of times people will use what they call a, a scrap canister, which is like a huge vacuum system that just pulls the scrap right into it. Here are our products, is a, a VSP, you'll see the, the legs, the wings, and the thighs. This machine we showed you is actually only doing VSP currently, but keep in mind the machine is capable of a straight lid. It's capable of MAP, VSP, and Pro Skin. If you have any more questions, enter them onto the live chat. Thank you very much.